Here are a few quick tips to help you improve the way you're presenting yourself at networking events. Number one, we're in an age of dress for comfort. That's understandable. But when you're an attorney showing up to a networking event dressed like a construction worker, it is confusing and first impressions still matter. Number two, introduce yourself, but don't go on and on talking about yourself. This is a great time to use your 30 second commercial. If the person wants to know more, they'll ask. Number three, be the first to ask, what is it that you do? This shows concern for the other person that you're considering listening to them. Number four, listen. I mean, actually listen. And then ask questions, at least one question. I like to aim for three questions to let the person know that I am actually listening to them and that I want to learn about their business enough to where I can go to the next person and introduce them and tell the next person what it is that they do. Number five, when someone hands you their business card, don't just tuck the card away. Take a look at the front and back of it. You never know what you might see on there. There may be something where you can ask a question or start a conversation from. When you just grab their card and instantly tuck it away in your purse or in your wallet or in your pocket, it kind of sends a message that you're just out there collecting business cards. Number six, this one may seem kind of petty, kind of small, but when you get someone's business card, don't put it in your back pocket. Some cultures view putting a card in your back pocket as a sign of disrespect. Last, but certainly not least, is number seven. When someone gives you that business card, they are giving you permission to contact them. And you most certainly should if it's a business relationship you intend to pursue. However, they are not giving you permission to go add them to your newsletter. That is a surefire way to annoy someone. Even if they don't unsubscribe or they don't say so, people do not want to be added to your newsletter unless they request it to be added to your newsletter. You can always ask for permission and people may say yes or no, but don't simply just assume that you could just go put someone on your newsletter and start sending constant messages to them without their permission. That's all I have for you today. As always, thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. And as always, create an amazing day.